Hey all, uh, we'll see how to install Tomcat on Linux in this class. So uh, let us start um, by downloading the software. So you can go to Google and type Tomcat download. And in the very first page, uh, you will get application to download. So here uh, you'll get the applications required for Windows and Linux. If, if you want to install for Linux, uh, you can download this. And if you want to install for Windows uh, as per your OS version, uh, you can download uh, the software required, the application required for Windows. So and and based on your requirement, you can choose the appropriate uh, version. Version here in the download section. You can select appropriate version in the download section and download accordingly. So let us download uh, tar.gz. Uh, so this is a file which we should download for Linux OS. So let us download this. Uh, you would find in the core and it's already downloaded. I have already downloaded and I have moved it to my Linux box. In the Linux box, uh, we can see the application here. So this is a file uh, which we have downloaded earlier. So in Linux, I mean, yeah, Tomcat installation installation is nothing tough. Uh, once you extract the uh, zip file, which we zip file uh, for Windows and the tar file for, for Linux. So once you extract the downloaded file, your Tomcat is almost installed. Uh, only one more step is you need to create a user. So it's like uh, one step is you have to extract the downloaded file and then you have to add the user. Uh, then you can access uh, admin console to manage Tomcat container. So let us see how to do those things. So here since we have downloaded uh, the tar file, you have to use star command uh, to extract uh, the tar file. So the command is star hyphen extract. So here the options are X is for extract, uh, F is for file, because this is being file, I have kept, uh, I have used the option as F. And then uh, option V is just, it just shows the output uh, of the operation. So find tar and options and then the file which we need to extract. So let us extract. Yeah. So once uh, we extract uh, the downloaded file your tomcat is already installed so let us uh, go to the folder so after extracting uh, we have got this output and uh, we are navigating to that folder so these are the files um, which will and um, which will be there uh, once you extract the file so these are the default folders of uh, folders and files of tomcat <coughs> so to start and stop uh, you should navigate through the bin folder Later, uh, we'll see how to check about conf configuration folder as well. So yeah, to start the application, let us go to the bin folder. And here you would find startup script. And let us do that. Yeah. So using this script, you can start a Tomcat container. It's being Linux, all executable files are uh, executed using dot slash. So I'm using dot slash and executing the startup script. Yeah, it's very fast. So Tomcat is installed. And now we should know how to access admin console. So the default port of Tomcat is uh, 8080. So you can access admin console using default port. And uh, you, you have to know the host name uh, where uh, this uh, Tomcat is installed to access, so it is installed in this host name. So you can you can use a host name and then the default port to access Tomcat. And if you are accessing from the same system, I mean, uh, here my Tomcat is installed in the same system, and I am, and I and I am accessing through from the same system. So in those situations. You can use a uh, local host and then 8080 to access admin console and suppose you are accessing through the network 
in those situations you should use a host name uh, I'll show you that as well yeah, so this is uh, the admin app and um, uh, we'll talk about how to access this admin app uh, later so right now we are talking about how to access so suppose you are accessing this admin uh, you, you want to access this admin console through network uh, in those situations you should know the host name uh, where the tomcat is installed so this is in this host i have installed tomcat and this host name is beyond 2018 So, yeah, beyond 2018. So, you can access like this as well. Um, I mean, there have been you can access admin console like this as well. Okay, and now let us see how to access. To manage your Tomcat application, you should click on Manager app. So in Tomcat, for security reasons, it doesn't uh, creates any users to access uh, a management application. So you have to create the user. Uh, I can say the simple technique uh, about the syntax, how to create a user. So once you click on Manager app, it will ask for username and password. And since we did not create any username and password, still uh, even if we give any username password, it will not take. Any so uh, my technique is once you click on cancel you'll get some page or you can read this whole page the whole funda is uh, here you'll get the syntax uh, about how to add users uh, in the tomcat so here there's a syntax here you can find the username and then you can find the password you can change the username and password password as per your requirement but this is a syntax and you can go through this page uh, clearly and, and you can modify the role name role roles as well so those things uh, you can explore around so right now let us create one user for practice purpose and see how it goes well uh, to access user you should navigate uh, to the You should navigate to the con folder and here you should edit this file yeah so you should edit tomcat hyphen users dot xml so in this file you can access you can create users okay. and then so you can see that the last two lines you should add a user between these two lines so let me go to the insert mode here so I have copied the syntax uh, from the previous page let me insert it uh -oh. well let me copy it again so I'm copying the syntax from here you can get this uh, syntax from the net as well so let me insert it okay yeah so i have added uh, these two lines and based on your requirement you can change the username and password as well so i'm comfortable with uh, default names let me save it okay now uh, we have to restart tomcat let me navigate uh, to the bin folder so earlier we have used a startup a script to start the tomcat container now uh, we can use a shutdown script you can use a uh, shutdown script uh, to shut down the tomcat so let me shut down it and now let us start it back to access with the username which we have created so to start you have to use startup script it is started uh, so let me try to access I'm editing this URL. Uh, so this is a URL uh, localhost colon 8080. 
you enter the home page and so here we have to select manager app and now it will ask for username and password username is tomcat and then the password yeah. if you see here the password is secret C -A -C -A -A secret. So this one password is already uh, loaded so I can click OK. So now we are able to access manager app and so with this manager app uh, you can manage your uh, Tomcat container. So this is all about uh, installing Tomcat and so let me revise it. So once you're done with all these steps uh, you can manage a Tomcat container on your desktop. So let us rewind. Uh, the whole steps which we have done so the very first step we have down downloaded tomcat application the google word is tomcat download in the very first link uh, you can download application so once you download the application you can move, move it to your linux box uh, using pen drive and then So after downloading, uh, you we have used tar command, tar command to extract this folder. So yeah, so once you extract the downloaded file, your Tomcat is almost installed. You can start up uh, and start up using startup command, and you can shut down using shutdown command. And the important the important folder in Tomcat is uh, bin folder. So in bin folder, you would find startup and shutdown scripts. So by default, it will not create any users. You have to create users to access your manager app. So for that, uh, you have to navigate to the conf uh, folder and uh, you have to edit uh, this tomcat-users.xml. And um, so once you edit this file uh, with the appropriate uh, syntax, Yeah, so once you edit uh, this file with appropriate syntax, you should be able to access your Tomcat Manager app. Yeah, then you can install applications, manage applications. Uh, you can go ahead uh, with your experiments. And similarly, uh, in the next classes, uh, we'll cover uh, the next topics. So this, in short, this is about uh, how to download Tomcat application and install and access your Tomcat management uh, console. Uh, this is all uh, for this class. Uh, see you in the next class. Thanks. Bye-bye.